We all know how dinosaurs went extinct. 66 million years ago, dinosaurs had the ultimate bad day. With a devastating asteroid impact, a rain that had lasted 180 million years was abruptly ended. But now the big question is what happened after the dinosaurs went extinct? Well, the simple answer is, mammals happened. It was over for dinosaurs for sure, but not for all creatures that lived. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs also wiped out most species on Earth, but not mammals. 66 million years ago, our distant ancestors managed to survive what might have been Earth's most violent event ever. So, how did these tiny, insignificant mammals hiding in the shadows survive the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs? Imagine a small, furry animal darting through the darkness ash and deadly heat left behind by the worst day in Earth's history. It rummages through the wreckage, finds an insect to eat, and quickly returns to its shelter. All around are the bodies of dead and dying dinosaurs that have terrorized mammals for ages. This was the scene in the weeks and months after a six-mile-wide asteroid hit. The coast of what is now Mexico, with the force of over a billion nuclear bombs, spectacularly ending the Cretaceous period. As the Paleocene era began, forests were burning, tsunamis were crashing along coasts, and enormous amounts of vaporized rock, ash, and dust were rising miles into the atmosphere. But the world wasn't completely devoid of life. Among the survivors was one of the earliest known primates, Purgatorius, which looked like a mix between a shrew and a tiny squirrel. Even though their numbers surely dwindled during this global catastrophe, the species managed to survive. This was the reality for early mammals right after the asteroid struck, wiping out three quarters of Earth's species. Only the great dying, 252 million years ago, was deadlier, killing 95% of ocean life and 70% of land species. So, how did this ragtag group of small, vulnerable creatures, including our ancestors, survive doomsday? The asteroid that ended the Cretaceous took with it famous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops, along with bizarre creatures like Anzu, the chicken from hell. There were duck-billed dinosaurs, long-necked dinosaurs, armored dinosaurs, and suddenly, all of them were gone. In the shadows of these giants, Mammals like Purgatorius were small and scrappy, often filling ecological roles similar to today's rodents. How did this seemingly vulnerable group, including our ancestors, make it through such a massive extinction event? Steve Brusata, author of The Rise and Reign of the Mammals, and his colleagues at the University of Edinburgh are working to unravel this mystery. Broussat emphasizes that the day the asteroid hit was catastrophic for all life, including mammals, birds, avian dinosaurs, and reptiles. This was no ordinary asteroid. It was the biggest to hit Earth in at least the last half a billion years, he explains. Mammals almost went extinct like the dinosaurs. The earliest mammals lived in the Triassic era, around 225 million years ago, which is about 20 million years earlier than previously thought, according to research from the Natural History Museum and King's College London. While mammals' soft tissues rarely fossilize, their unique pattern of developing milk teeth before adult teeth has been found in a shrew-like animal called Brazilodon. These early mammals coexisted with ferocious Triassic dinosaurs like Staurikosaurus and herbivores like Sauropodomorphs. There was a lot at stake. By the late Cretaceous, there was a surprising variety of mammals, with many being tiny, insect-eating creatures living in trees or digging burrows. But not all of them munched on insects. Weird multi-tuberculates, with blocky teeth and a saw-like front tooth, were around, munching on fruits, nuts, and seeds. There were even carnivores like Didelphodon, a marsupial about the size of a domestic cat, its teeth and skull suggest it had a strong bite, probably crunching bones. Most of this diversity was wiped out when the asteroid struck. About 90% of mammal species disappeared. 
but for the survivors, it was a golden opportunity. Imagine being one of those tiny ancestors, like a mouse, hiding out during this disaster. You emerge, and suddenly all the dinosaurs are gone, leaving a whole new world to explore. This extinction opened the door for an explosion of new species, leading to everything from blue whales and cheetahs, to platypuses, and, eventually, us. Initially, there was a significant issue. Wildfires had decimated the world's forests, filling the sky with ash that blocked sunlight and hindered photosynthesis. Ecosystems were collapsing like houses of cards, as Brusata described it. The Earth's surface experienced extreme heat pulses, followed by a nuclear winter that dropped temperatures by 20 degrees heats for over 30 years. Although many mammal predators had vanished, the environment had become extremely hostile. The small size of mammals, which had previously been constrained by competition and predation from dinosaurs, became advantageous for the disaster fauna, the survivors of the asteroid impact. According to Brusata, these mammals likely resembled and behaved like mice or rats. They thrived in this new world because they were well suited to the harsh post-impact conditions. Their small size also enabled them to quickly replenish their populations. Ornella Bertrand, a postdoctoral researcher in mammal paleontology at the University of Edinburgh, notes that larger animals have longer gestation periods. For instance, African elephants have a gestation period of 22 months, while mice are pregnant for about 20 days. In catastrophic conditions, the mouse has better odds of sustaining its population. Larger animals also take longer to reach sexual maturity, which further contributed to the dinosaurs, especially the larger ones, inability to survive. Brusada explains that it took around 20 years for a T-Rex to grow from a hatchling to an adult. Despite their rapid growth, their size meant a long maturation period. Another insight into how mammals survived the asteroid's aftermath comes from their unique body shapes in the Paleocene and beyond. Shelley analyzed ankle bones, small, durable bones that preserve well, to compare early Paleocene mammals to modern ones. She found that Paleocene mammals had distinct, chunky, robust morphologies. These mammals had large muscle attachments and generally sturdy bones, similar to modern ground-dwelling and burrowing species. Shelley suggests that these animals survived the extinction by digging and getting underground to escape the immediate impact period, the fires, and the nuclear winter. They were able to hunker down and survive. When a meteorite hit the Earth, forests up to 2,500 km away caught fire within minutes, according to research from the University of Aberdeen. Fossilized tree bark suggests the fires were caused by a massive fireball or molten rock falling back to Earth after the impact. Huge tsunamis quickly put out many of these fires along the coastlines. Survivors of this event were often stocky, even those who lived in trees. If mammals had adapted to living underground by burrowing or using other animals' shelters, it would have affected their agility. With forests gone, tree-dwelling animals lost their habitat, leading to fewer agile creatures. Bertrand plans to study the inner ear bones of mammals from this time forward to see if they adapted to an underground lifestyle. The inner ear is crucial for balance, so its structure could reveal if these animals needed agility. However, Bertrand notes that bones alone might not fully show an animal's movement capabilities as gymnasts with the same skeletal structure can perform feats she cannot. The asteroid wiped out most plants, the foundation of many food chains. Mammals with adaptable diets survived better than those with specialized ones. For instance, the Didelphodon, a carnivorous marsupial, lost its niche due to its specialized diet. Small animals that could change their diets and lifestyles had higher survival chances. Seed eaters, including birds with beaks and seed-eating mammals, thrived as seeds were abundant. These seeds supported disaster fauna and helped re-establish forests after the nuclear winter. In the Paleocene, ecosystems recovered and mammals diversified quickly, though their brain sizes initially lagged behind body sizes. 
large brains required significant energy, while getting large and strong was advantageous. For example, the herbivore Ectoconus adapted rapidly, reaching about 100 kilodies within a few hundred thousand years after the extinction. Larger herbivores led to larger carnivores like Teniodonts, which were adapted for digging with robust bodies and massive teeth. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed diving into the aftermath of the dinosaur extinction and the rise of early mammals, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. What do you find most fascinating about how mammals survived and thrived when dinosaurs went extinct? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.